My name is Colin Spears and I'm an Australian composer currently living in Melbourne. I was born in Brisbane and my career has spanned both performance, composition and teaching at the University of Queensland and Newcastle Conservatorium. Firstly, I'd like to say what an honour it has been to receive an award in the inaugural Composing the Future competition. As a pianist, I've always been passionate about the instrument and expanding its already considerable repertoire so that the opportunity this competition has provided and its close links with the Sydney Piano Competition have been an extremely important one for the instrument's continuing evolution both in Australia and internationally in the 21st century. I should say a little about my work. Its title is Eine kleine Nachtmusik, a very familiar one, although the piece is in no way a parody of Mozart's famous string piece. Rather, the title refers to a painting by the American surrealist artist Dorothea Tanning, who applied it to a haunting and disturbing image of two young girls standing in a hotel hallway, confronted with a large sunflower. This painting is arguably Tanning's best-known work and was produced in 1943. Tanning had a very interesting life. She married the famous surrealist artist Max Ernst in 1946, going on to have an important international career. She died at the grand old age of 101 in 2012. As for my piece, it follows in the tradition of virtuosic piano music, of which Ravel's Gaspard Delanoui was the direct inspiration. I've always been interested in using non-musical references in my works, and this is clear in Eine kleine Nachtmusik, which has four linked parts that reflect four of the principal visual elements of the painting. The hallway, the two girls, one actually a doll, the sunflower, and the slightly open door. To finish, I'd like to stress that while winning competitions is a great boost for one's sense of self-worth, in this case, the opportunity that the award provides to have one's music performed by a world-class pianist and actually be heard by a wider audience is even more important. Thank you.